Let me know, take a sip. It's gone. It's over. It's finished. Past the end of Atletico Madrid. So, while I was on my Twitch um, last night, remember guys, head to the website halfoffootballhots.com. The link is in the description box below. So you can um, click in and, you know, follow me on Twitch where I, you know, I play a few video games, you know, and I chat to the people while I play these video games. And also remember to be a patron for extra content. So yeah, on my Twitch, the first thing guys were saying while I was, I was playing Perivo was Griezmann is gone. He's gone. I was like, what? What do you mean he's gone? I said, no, it's official. He's gone. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. What do you mean he's gone? He's gone. So lo and behold, let me read a little press piece here. So that's Madrid striker Antoine Griezmann has announced he will be leaving at the end of this season after five years. The World Cup winner signed, and this is interesting, a five-year contract last June. I remember that. But Saturday's La Liga match against Levante will be his last for the club. Barcelona will pay the buyout clause in Griezmann's contract of 120 million euros, according to BBC Sports. So, um, as he says, um, so quotes from Griezmann, it was an incredible five years. Thank you for everything. Um, I wanted to tell you, fans, who has always given me a lot of love, that I have taken the decision to leave, to see other things, to have other challenges, the 28-year-old added. So, I just think, you know, overall, I um, just want to just... Looking at what he's done in his career. Now, for me, I've always said that Griezmann is overrated. And whenever I say a player is overrated, it doesn't mean that the player is bad or crap. It means that the how people rate him is not how he should be rated. So, for example, people may say that Griezmann is upper tier 2. In my view, he's tier 3. Maybe tier 2. But for me, in my view, he's tier 3. And if you're tier 3, it doesn't mean you're bad. If you're tier 3, you're very good. <laughs> Tier 3 is still very good, but Tier 3 just isn't upper Tier 2 or Tier 2. But for me, I feel I believe that, you know, Griezmann, when you just look back at what he's done for Atletico Madrid, would you say it's a success? We say it's a success. For me, based on Griezmann's quality, 1000% has been a, so, a success. If, let's say, Griezmann was, had the talent of an Mbappe and he was leaving this time, I would say, would it be a success? I would say, probably not. Because I would expect him to have done more based on the talent that I know Mbappe has. Based on what I know Griezmann can do and his ability. A Champions League final, although he missed a penalty in that game, but... Champions League final, and oh my gosh, he did. yeah, he did. He, yeah, he missed the penalty in that game, didn't he? Oh my god, yeah, I think it, or I think it did. Europa League win. I think his greatest achievement for them was that Europa League win. I think that was huge, that was massive. So he was able to give a trophy to that side and was and even scored in that final. So they wouldn't just, just take things all to account. I think he has definitely been, um. Definitely one of Atletico Madrid's best players. Definitely one of their best players. And the way in which he was such an important aspect to Diego Simeone's defensive side. You know, how he was pretty much the key ingredient and key component to how they counter that side. So every time they counted, yeah, I know they had Saul, they had Carrasco at one point, they had Koke. But him playing that kind of position in the hole, sort of a bit towards the striker's area, a bit towards the midfielder's area, him playing in that position, he he was a vital player. And they always looked to him to thread balls through and so forth. So it was definitely a very um, important player for Atletico. But and at the end of the day, he... There is only so much that he could have done. Griezmann is not an alpha. He's not... You don't buy Griezmann as your star player. So Griezmann is not a Neymar. He's not a Hazard. He's not a Messi. He's not a Cristiano. He's not an Mbappe. I don't even say he's an Oos. I don't even say he's an Oos. You know? Um, but if I'm a manager 
1000% had one Griezmann in my team. So that's the thing. I'm not, but if you tell me that Griezmann is the only guy you, you can buy, i am like, no, nah, I'm sorry. I cannot, I cannot build, see, I, I cannot build my team around Griezmann. I cannot have him be the main superstar. I can't have him be the main go to man. Nah, my team, my team can't work. But if I have a Neymar on my team, or an Mbappe on my team, or like a Christian on my team, 1000% I want a Griezmann. Because Griezmann working with a superstar, amazing. He is a great co pilot. I'd even argue, I'd even argue that Griezmann might be the best co pilot in the world. As far as walking off of a superstar, he might be the greatest co-pilot in the world. Which is why what makes it very exciting is if the reports are true that he will be going to Barcelona, Griezmann walking with Messi is very interesting. It's very interesting because Griezmann's greatest asset is that he's a very intelligent player. He's a very intelligent player. Remember, I always go on about this so many times, decision-making. Decision-making, that is one of the most key but crucially most underrated aspects to any football player is make the right decisions because oh no i can dribble i can shoot i can score i can do all these wonderful things but when is a three on three will you make the right decision will you pick out the right man will you make the right pass and that is the difference between really good players and the truly great players. The truly great players always make the right decision, especially in pressurized moments. So the um, the potential of seeing what Griezmann can do combined with your boy Lionel, oh my gosh, it's um, it's exciting. It is extremely exciting. So. Um, that's definitely what I want to see. I definitely want to see um, what he does for Barcelona. So, but the crucial thing right now is, um, and this is what I was saying on my Twitch, Atletico Madrid, as we know it, as far as a competitive force, is done. It's done. Um, to lose your two best players two most important players in the same season it's a it's it's a done deal like it's 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 over that's that's what my madrid don't not they now don't have what it takes to even win a, a, a trophy right now you'd argue that you probably put sevilla above them now you know you probably put you probably say now valencia can now put now say what's up to them right now because golden and griezmann were very important to this team so as we now see that, that's going to do it as far as, oh, this is now one of the threats in Europe. That's now gone. That's finished. You've got to now turn your attention to Diego Simeone. So for Simeone now, it's, um, what do you do? Because I wrote an article on the Patreon blog, which stated that for Simeone, bro, what's there more to achieve? You, there is nowhere else to go. And I wrote this article before knowing that Golden and Griezmann left. So even when Golden and Griezmann were there, I said for Simeone, I'm sorry, you're never winning a Champions League. You're never winning a La Liga. Europa League is possible. But you should always try to improve. But even Europa League, I think even that will, will be tough because I'm not sure that there's this team, because they're growing older and so forth, have what it takes to really win another trophy. So for Simeone, I believe that, that your best case is you've got to take that Argentina job, which they need you. Copa America. This summer, they need a leader. They need someone to help them. Bro, take that job. Or you go to Inter Milan. But this was before I knew Godin and Griezmann were leaving. So now that they've left, Simeone, what the hell are you doing here? I have no idea. But back to Griezmann. Um, you're the best co-pilot. You're not a superstar. You are a great, 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 great compliment to a superstar. So, Barcelona definitely need a lot of players. They need they they, they need the guys. And look, you know, you know, from represent, man. You know, I heard that you guys want to build that Sam Ochikese, man. Look, man. You know, I know you know you gonna get Griezmann, man. But you know, I mean, you can still find some space for Sam Ochikese. I mean, let me let me get, imagine front row of this. Imagine front row of this. Griezmann, 
Messi, and Chukese. Ooh wee! Let me know. Take a sip. I mean that's a front three. That front three. Woo! If you give me that, listen. I know. I know it's what's happening nonsense, but please, 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 please. If Barca gets Chukese, I'm buying a Barca jersey with Chukese at the back. So, so, so look, that's it. So I'm, I'll, I'll give you cash. So HH, well, H -H, half up the number one footballing analyst on the planet in the universe. I checked. If you buy Samuel Chukese, I will buy a 2019-2020 Barca jersey with Chukese at the back. That's what I'm saying. So if you can do that, but I, I know it's one because I put it in the universe and now it's, now it's what's happened and now that the Vogue Griezmann, they, they'll probably stick with, 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 with that clown sword. Coutinho is gone, by the way. <laughs> that Coutinho is gone. He's out of there. They'll probably stick with Blaise Suarez because oh, he's, he's his friends with Messi, even if the, the guy the guy's trashed. Um, but for Griezmann, yeah, man, um, he had to leave. No point in staying. Had to move on. And yeah, man, um, as he said on his quotes, which is what every person should do, not just only football. You've always got to look for new challenges. You've always got to try and challenge yourself in different ways. And that is what he's doing. And um, kudos for him in doing so. Thanks for watching the video. Now think about becoming a football hot patron by pledging an amount each month and then gain access to exclusive content only on the football hot patron page. Peace. Head over to the official sites at halfhopfootballhot.com or just click over here.